Welcome into Drew Silly Diamond for Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome, guys. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up, 7 o'clock Eastern in Yankee Stadium, a big one in the AL East. Number one versus number two in the division. It's Zach Eflin and the Baltimore Orioles. Up against Nestor Cortez, the lefty going for the Bronx Bombers. Yankees, minus 145 home favorites, total of eight. The Orioles aren't done yet in the AL East, guys. They're five games back of the Yankees, technically still live. They did win last night. I don't think it's going to get done here, though, guys. I think the Yankees actually going to end their hopes of winning the division crown tonight. Yankees have won three of four. They've won six of eight, and they got Nestor Cortez on the hill. We've talked about it on the show since August 10th, 1-5 ERA, sub-3 FIP. He added a changeup to his arsenal. He's been a lot better. Last time versus the Orioles lineup, six innings, blanking them. I think he has a pretty solid start here. Now he's up against Eflin, who has been really good for the O's, 133 to 18 strikeout to walk ratio. But the last time facing the Yankees in Yankee Stadium, remember, he got traded from the Rays, so he's played against them a bunch. He gave up five runs, four walks, and just five innings up against the Yankees. Number one hitting team overall in MLB. Hey, we're laying the 45 cents here. It's the Yankees, minus 145 over the Orioles to start us off. We got 740 Eastern up next, Battle of the M's with the Twins wearing that M on their hats. It's the Miami Marlins and the Minnesota Twins. Edward Cabrera on the hill for the fish. Simeon Woods Richardson going for the Twins. Twins, heavy home favorites here, minus 190, total of eight. Looking to bet on the Marlins, wearing the Marlins hat for a reason, guys. It's been a while since we've talked about him. And really, in my notes, I have bet on Edward Cabrera. He's a Dominican-born pitcher throwing hard, 96, 97 miles per hour. He's worked with Sandy Alcantara there in the Marlins organization for quite some time. He's really kind of uh, got his arsenal rolling here. Now, his last time out, he got blown up against the Dodgers, but before that, Three straight starts, going 19 innings, just one earned run in those three starts. Hey, I'm looking to bet on him here. Up against Simeon Woods Richardson, who's lost his last three starts. Actually, the Minnesota Twins, what, just two games out of a wild card berth in the American League, playing important baseball, but they're starting to fall apart. They've lost three straight, lost five of six. Again, they lost the last three times Woods has taken the hill. He's only going three or four innings per start his last five. His last five starts, he actually hasn't made it out of the fourth inning. I think this number is too expensive on the Twins, guys. I mean, again, losing three straight. Now you're going to lay minus 190. Hey, it's the Marlins plus 168 with the big underdog barking. We're on the fish. Risk 100 to win 168 in Minnesota. Next one up, heading to mile high. Colorado Rockies hosting the St. Louis Cardinals. Eric Fetty on the hill for the Redbirds. Austin Gomber. The lefty going for the Rocks. Total of 10, minus 130. That's St. Louis as the road favorite. They did win just last night, talking about St. Louis here, but they're still four games under 500 on the road, out of the playoffs in the National League. They got Fetty on the hill, the 31-year-old out of UNLV. In his career in Coors Field, he's 1-1, one one, just a 7-4 to four strikeout to walk ratio. But even more importantly, recently, He's only averaging two strikeouts his last three starts. That's not very good overall, but especially when you're going into Coors Field, you want to be striking guys out. You don't want them, you know, getting the, the bat to the ball very often. So that's kind of a setup that I'm I'm looking to fade Fetty in, in this situation heading to Coors Field. And he's up against Austin Gomber here. The lefty, the 30-year-old out of FAU, the former Al, third straight start in Coors Field. He is off of six days rest. He got roughed up his last time out, but a rested left arm here, and he's facing the team that traded him. Always like that in terms of motivation. So, hey, Colorado Rockies off the loss last night. They got a shot to be 500 at home after a miserable season. Hey, we're jumping on the rocks here, guys, as the home underdog, plus 113, risk 100 to win 113. So two underdogs, one favorite here with the Yankees to start us off in the first three games. Got one game left. It is a, a nightcap on the West Coast. But first, little promo, guys, got a 5% max limit 
going tonight at wagertalk.com. Number one ranked off of uh, last night's profitable day. Number one ranked MLB uh, sides handicapper at Wager Talk since uh, early July. It's been a nice run, guys. So I uh, got that top rated play in a game we did not break down on the video. So if you want to check that out, premium picks, Drew Martin, wagertalk.com, 5% max limit going tonight. All right, last game we're talking. We're heading to the Coliseum, 940 Eastern, 640 local time. It's the Texas Rangers and the Oakland Athletics. AL West battle between the third and fourth uh, in the standings in the division here. Two teams out of the playoffs. It's got that quote-unquote degenerate special feel. It's Cody Bradford on the hill for the Rangers up against Brady Basso, also the lefty. So battle of southpaws. Basso going for the Athletics. Looks like seven and a half being the total. The A's minus 115 home favorites. Talking this one because of Bradford for the Rangers. I have in my notes, look to bet on this guy. 26-year-old out of Baylor. Seven innings, zero earned. Last time out against the Blue Jays. So blanking those that, that Jays lineup over seven. He also, his last time out against the Athletics, Seven innings, two earned, eight strikeouts. So a dominating performance there against the lineup he's going to be facing like that matchup. And he's up against the A's starter, Basso, 26-year-old rookie out of Oklahoma State, the former Cowboy. It's only his fourth start in Major League Baseball. He does have good numbers overall if you look at the peripherals. But his last start was his worst start of the year. It almost makes me think MLB lineups finding something on him. Hey, I think the Rangers are able to get off are are able to get after him here, put up some crooked numbers, and Bradford bet on. The A's have lost three of their last four, now laying a number. Don't like that profile, guys. It's another dog for you. Plus 104, risk 100 to win 104. That's on the Rangers and Cody Bradford, the lefty, over the athletics. So that will be uh, the Rangers in recap. We got the Rockies, the home dog, plus 113 over the Cardinals. We got the Marlins, plus 168. That will be the best bet for the show if we hit that one. That will be nice for tonight. And we got the Yankees, minus 145 over the Orioles. Got that 5% up and available for tonight, guys. Tomorrow's show, we're going to be hitting college football on Thursday night, NFL as well, and Major League Baseball on the Thursday slate. So come back and join us. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for commenting below. Thanks for smashing that like button, guys. Thanks for tuning in. All right, cash those tickets. We'll talk tomorrow.